So thoughts on the title race going th- forward? Can we can we win the league? Yeah. Will we win the league? Yeah. 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 Still back still it. Believe. Still back it. I like still it. Back I like it. it. Um, today doesn't change that for me. Have I said previously? Do we need to beat Amf- uh, we beat Liverpool at Anfield? Yeah. <laughs> but we've just got to beg they drop points. We just got to yeah. beg. The thing for me is, and what I've said for a while is, and I said this on the preview, was Arsenal Liverpool at the peak. Yeah. Unfortunately for us, we've got to play them at the peak. I thought they'd peak too soon and that we'd see a decline. Arsenal went to another level. Liverpool yeah. today looked good. Arsenal scared me more than Liverpool at the moment. Yeah, I think I think if we beat Arsenal, I think that's a real kick. That that's that's almost like a back in your place. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, but, but it's going to be hard because they're gonna be a very on top game. top form. Yeah, they're scoring goals freely, and, and which is not normally something that we say in the Premier League season as Man City fans. Like, they've got a scary goal difference. Normally, it's mm-hmm. us who have that goal difference. Their goal difference is like eleven better than ours. Yeah, they've, they've, they're, sc- they're just scoring goals for fun. So that's basically yeah. an extra point for them. Yeah, um, we we need to win that game. It's now turned the attention turns to that Arsenal game massively. I think we can, obviously. I, I think I think we will still win a league. Um, Call it blind faith if you want. <laughs> well, sometimes you've got to have that, haven't you? Yeah. I just This is just another tale of the Premier League and there'll still be more. There's, there's going to be more turns, there's going to be more shocks, there'll be more upsets. Do I think we're going to go to the end of the season and not drop a point from now onwards? No. Do I, but do I think Liverpool and Arsenal will go from now to the end of the season and not drop a point? No. And there will be points here and there. It's about us capitalising on that. And yeah. I think, I think we will. Think, think. hope, pray. <laughs> hope, yeah. All I've the got same. everything crossed for All it. All the same. <laughs> Fingers crossed. What's your thoughts? Start race. Where are you going with it? I'm nervous. Yeah. I am nervous. I, I just... I think what is worrying me about this City team compared to literally any other season that I've watched them under Pep, bar that first season, mm-hmm. is that we, we, we're in first gear, we're in second gear, we're in fifth gear, we're in third gear. Like, we're so all over the place. Yeah, yeah. That's what's scaring me. Is like... Even in seasons, now, now Pep has managed and produced some all-time Premier League teams. Mm-hmm. But there have been seasons where we've won the league and I don't think like we've been the best team like yeah, in yeah. the world. Like it, The COVID season comes to mind. Mm-hmm. You know, We won the league, won it by quite a bit because Liverpool had like a really off-season. Yeah, they fell off. The but one, I don't yeah. think about that that team where we won the, won the Mosaic shirt um, and sort of think, that's like an all-time Premier League Yeah, that's a world-beating team. Beating team. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd back other Man City teams to beat that team, yeah, is what yeah, I'm trying to say. But even when we were there, we still reached a level of consistency in performance. Maybe it wasn't our absolute pinnacle. Maybe it wasn't like sixth gear going at 110 miles an hour. But like, we got to 70 and we just stayed there. And we just, we just grinded it out whilst Liverpool fell off and people did whatever around us. City, we always just seemed to reach this level. But this season, it feels like I'm watching a learner driver going down the motorway. We're going at 30, we're going at 70, we're going at 50, we're going at 90. We're, we're, we're just sort of so all over the shop. And I've seen us play brilliant football against United last week. I thought we played some yeah, lovely yeah. football. Luton Town in the FA Cup thought we played some lovely football. But I've also seen us play like some of the ge- genuine yeah. hand on heart, like worst football I've seen this City team play under Pep. Yeah. Um, and that's what's worried me. Do I have faith that City can win the league? Yes. If I was a neutral and I was to go into a betting shop tomorrow, would I put my money on City to win the league? I'm not too sure right now. Yeah, I don't think I'd hedge my bets right now. That's what I mean. Is like in other years, I've just had this, I've had this certainty. E- even when we were like seven points behind Arsenal, I was like, we'll win the league. And and it wasn't just us as City fans saying that. It was it was, it was like all the pundits. City, yeah, yeah. Everyone was saying, no, City will turn up. City will turn we'll up. win the league. We'll win. The league. Like Whereas this year, when people are going, it's almost it's almost like. Um, I don't know, like a, a, a kid waiting on the lawn for the dad to come who's not coming. It's like, he'll turn up. Yeah, turn yeah. Up. That's City this season. We're going, we'll turn up. We'll turn. Second half season City. Yeah, he'll come. He'll, he'll come play over okay. there. March City, March City. Okay, maybe mid-March City. Yeah. It's April City. It's April City. It's like, when are we actually going to really click into kick? Because I'm still not seeing, really, a fluid Kevin De Bruyne, no. a fluid Haaland. You know, even even like a fluid John Stones, you know, he was pretty poor to stay by the goal. Obviously, now, look, we said that's down to playing two positions, but... It just all looks a bit fragmented. Um, yeah, and to, then when you consider we've only got one player out as well, you, you'd think we'd have a bit more shorty with just one player out. Yeah. Grealish, I don't see as the glue to the whole team. Do I think he's important in the team? Yes. But it shouldn't be reliant on Grealish being injured. I, I, I still feel like 
the system needs changing. And, and There's it, something about it that's not clicking. It comes back to what we've said in like, like watch alongs and stuff and just when having chats with each other. This is the first season where I kind of feel like Pep doesn't know his best starting eleven at this point. Yeah, usually we know. Usually, like I'm just like I, I can tell you in my sleep what the starting eleven is going to be. Pick it. Yeah, yeah. Whereas now it just it does seem a little bit all over the shop. So. And, and I don't think that helps the players either because they never know who they're playing with. No. So that, that's my thoughts. Um, I, I I I have faith. I believe in City. I always believe in City. It's what I said just after the end of the the game just now. Is it's a it's um. It's devastating. It's a grim result, but until it's mathematically impossible for us to win, mm-hmm. I'll back us. Back I believe that we. Yeah. I'm down the hill, man. I'll, I'll, I'll be on that yeah. until until we can't. But I can I say that I'm feeling really confident. Not right now. Um, so yeah, it's make it's making for a very good title race for a neutral. Very good. The fact that it's yeah one point between three teams. Yeah, yeah. is Insane. incredible. Insane. And Insane. better than any other year. Yeah, and we're entering the business time now. The business end of the season. Real Arsenal business. usually fall off or about to fall off. So we'll see how they do in this we'll business see. sense. We'll but they look good. And Liverpool, obviously we know what it's been like with Liverpool for the past few years. So looking good for a neutral. Just, I'd much prefer it to be just done and dusted though. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs>